Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here. We are here with Demon Souls. I'm gonna let this cutscene play out. Um, again, don't expect the good old lore narrator to show up necessarily due to this is a one-off game. And yes, I know Bloodborne and Elden Ring are both one-off games, but the lore was is way more expansive in those games than um, and even Dark Souls than in Demon Souls. Demon Souls is the first. I'm not. Of course, not counting like Kingsfield and that sort of thing. And this is remastered by Blue Point. So of course I shouldn't really have to warn you of this, but um, this is World Four. The other one was World One. Balataria, this world one is World Four. Yeah, that's Balataria. But of course, expect violence. Ah, and the Dragon God! Whew. His boss fight is absolutely terrible, but, um... Hey! Okay. Um, we're obviously going to use a katana here in case y'all are new to the channel. I do not play. Bloodborne is the only From Software game that I have played where I don't use a katana. <laughs> uh, we are going to start a new game, though. Uh, we are going to continue offline. Uh, for that, geez. Oh, wait, no. I want to go back to... Oh, we want a new game. Stay offline by tap B is what we want. Um, how are we gonna name ourselves? We don't want. Um, what class do we want to go with? Is the question. Um. I know magician is basically what you want for like magic and that sort of stuff, but I don't really use magic. We uh we might start off with knight. Um I think last time we started off with Temple Knight. But I didn't really like using the Halbeard. Probably won't use Thief. Definitely not Bavarian, Bavarian, Bar, bar why say Bavarian? Uh, that's a donut we make there. Uh, Barbarian. Um, we might go with Wanderer. Yeah, I think we'll go with Wanderer. Yeah, we're gonna go with Wanderer. Starting gift? No. Uh, no. No, no. We might do that. Oh, this is active, right? Well, we'll just get that active or whatever. Oh, uh, we're just going to use Providential Ring, I guess. No. What a style of beat. Okay. What? Okay, uh, appearance is really what we want. Let's do that. Okay, let's look at face. Uh, let's let's look let's hair first. We will do black. Let's 
facial hair. What the heck? It's fine, I guess. Uh, we'll just stick with that. We're gonna be wearing a helmet the whole time, anyways. All right. King allowed the twelfth by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented. A lot of people call him Old King a lot. Kingdom of Bolland. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to yeah, the music is pretty good. Cursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the twin fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astria with her knight Gal Vinland. We will see them. And Sage Frake the Visionary. I haven't personally seen the any of the rest. Fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Uh, sure, we'll play the journey to the Nexus. So at least y'all can see a tutorial boss. At least I'm pretty sure I clicked yes. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fisher. By the way, this is the same voice actress of the doll from Bloodborne. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Also, she also might voice Ronnie as well. I'm not exactly sure. But this is the tutorial level. We're only seeing this for the final boss here. But obviously, you know, I'm familiar with the controls. Even though it's been a hot second. It's been a little bit of a hot second since I have attempted this game. That's pairing. I don't tend to parry in this game. Oh, you can't climb up ledges like in Bloodborne. I mean, like in um, Remnant 2. Ooh, that was a nice parry. Ooh, that was a nice parry. I've got to admit, that was... And we are immune in those frames, in that frame, so that's good. I 
And again, for now, we're gonna one hand, but I normally two hand my weapons. And I normally just dodge roll for the most part. Ooh, thank you for some crescent moon grass. I believe we're in Boletaria right now, aren't we? I want to say this is the back half of Boletaria. Okay. Come over here, buddy. Oh, we take damage if we parry. Yikes. That is something I don't like. And I'm just going to two-hand from now on. Two-handing does increase your damage. I thought I saw an item over here, but I guess not. Oh, we weren't supposed to do that. We won't ever really use a strong attack. Because there's no like skill there is no like skill thing in the game, so I won't ever really do a strong attack. I can't actually vault over that. Nice. I just try not to have the attack there. Oh, this guy could be a pain in the ass, though. Got the parry. Oh, I will say they did really good with the sound and the uh, animations for viscerals. I guess these guys is going to be better for us to parry. Oh, let's go! Ah! I don't like that the healing items, though, are limited. That's like I think something I'm not a huge fan of. I'm just waiting for archers to show up. Okay, I saw that move. You do take chip damage from arrows. Okay. Something to keep in mind for y'all. Um, I have only been this game once. <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna enter this boss fight that we are, like, we're supposed to lose, basically, and I don't think you get anything if you beat it. Oh, wait. Maybe it's too soon? Beautiful. Ooh, more.
more half moon grass. We're gonna need as many of those as possible. Also, we are gonna try to get our hands on the Ucha Katana as soon as possible. But um, do keep in mind that it is in a very difficult area. All right. Let's get to ready, Vanguard Demon. There we are, we're done. I shouldn't have used any of the healing items. I should have just tried to die straight up. Because healing items are limited in this game. And my controller battery was slow, so I had to fix that real quick. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. I know it's not Ronnie's voice actress. Uh, this is this is the Vault Doll's voice actress from Bloodborne. Why do we have to look at toes first? Together the northern land of Voluntaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. I'm assuming meaning um we can't exactly we can't leave. I don't know what's beyond there either. Okay, your pleasures, all souls, or well, okay, we're languages. Okay. All right, we're not gonna worry about too many quests though. I'm we're just gonna gather all the stuff no here. Life, but I would be, I would be happy to lighten your load and look after it. Oh, I forgot. Um, we are not actually gonna level up at all here. I forget what some of these items do. Uh, assassin elements. We'll never use that. We probably won't use this either. And we probably won't use that either. Uh, we probably won't use either of these. <laughs> we won't you be using that either? Hoblite Shield, we probably will. Uh, we'll just, we'll just uh, normally I'll go with that. One of these two. There's no like armor set bonuses. I forget what this ring does. Please max HP. Oh, yeah. That's not the ring I normally use though. We haven't gotten a hold of it yet. I forgot what weight threshold we need to have. I think we need to remain below 50%. These defenses are bar better in every way, so I might just... Yeah, this, this, these are going to be the best boots right now. Okay, before we go to actual Balataria, we are going to try and see if I can manage to get... Oh, we can't even use it yet. Oh, let's unequip the dagger. Because we aren't really going to be using it. Mm. Okay. This should be the storms. Oh, wait. So we can't actually access any of these. No idea what that is, but I kind of hope for a little bit of DLC. Ah, okay. So we can't actually go to any of these places. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. Looks like we have to beat the gates of Volataria boss first, which is perfectly fine. A little cutscene here, okay. Ah! 
Big boy dragon. Um, okay. Okay, I'm immediately turning around here to see if... Yeah, there's usually something... Late moon grass. We're gonna keep using the green grass until we run out. Woo! This area we aren't gonna be able to access for right now, we'll only be able to access after certain world tendencies have occurred. Which I'll explain a after a bit. Oh, for right now, we're going to keep pushing onward and yonward. Is there not a guy behind there? Huh. Okay. I thought there was an archer. Whoa, damn, chill. Okay. Crickling shield, which we're not really going to mess with. Uh, that's a shortcut that way. Fuck, fire sword. Oh, ah, so I can't parry that. I can't parry that. I should try to avoid parrying that as much as possible. I just have to dodge around that. Fire Pine Resin, that'll be good for the Phalanx boss. This is over a barrier, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's that might be a I think that's a death pit actually. Well we gotta go through here. Knew there was somebody around that corner. Okay. God, I don't like those enemies that just spam attacks. That point is just annoying. <clears throat> Let's go! <clears throat> the clipping is a little weird, but it's fine. Fire bombs, that's going to be extremely good. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, that was nice. That was nice. Ow. Jeez, I hurt a little bit. Damn. Being a little bit wary. But it should be fine. Mail breaker, which we aren't gonna use at all. Thankfully, since I've played this before, most of the bosses should not be too much of a problem. Ah! 
I'm not, I was not about to let him do that. No way, Jose. So there's nothing there. Let's go up. I wanted me to say spot before. Yeah, I can take him from here. Oh, we missed a guy back there. Oh, well. Okay. <sighs> okay. Why did I not see him? Okay. I don't think you can drop down anywhere from here. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how we get right here. We can get the bastard sword. Which are we going to use? Absolutely not. Also, we cannot, you cannot sell items here in this, in this game. Which sucks, but I mean, it's one of those, it is what it is sort of things. I misread that. We are not strong enough to take on the Blue Knights. We do need to take care of him, unfortunately, because he will bow us in the back. Yeah, but him we have to take care of. Okay. We are going to enter the fog gate, but we're not actually going to. I think that's just yeah that yeah yeah that just leads us back there. We want to unlock their shortcut here. There's usually an enemy in here. More firebombs, six firebombs, which is great. Yeah, we're going to want to chew in here and just watch out for dodging. Is there another one? No. Oh, that dropped something there. Okay. I don't see more explody barrels, so we should be good. I just had to. There was no way I was going to be able to resist doing that. Woo! Okay. <sighs> Cling ring? I'm not, I don't remember if that was the one we wanted or not. And that dropped this item. Old racket we will not be using, but hey. 
That was our first shortcut unlock. Oh, so I believe that shortcut is for Tower Knight? I think? I want to say it's for Tower Knight, but um, I can't remember exactly if it is or not. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Freaking hackers. We want to go to the Nexus. We're going to bun drop off a bunch of crap that we aren't really going to be using. Also, I am hoping to get our weapon all the way up to and plus 10, to but the lead. likelihood of us being able to actually get that done is kind of slim. Ooh, that's good. Okay, um, first off, we can... We can dump this, this, and this. I'm not going to be using anything other than the Falachion until later. H Spice, I think that's MP related? Yeah, we won't be using this. Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound. Alright. We're not going to boost item discovery. We aren't necessarily farming for anything, so less SP, less health reduction. You names it seven trade with your souls. Nothing is terribly low. I'm going to repair this though. Do come back alive. By the way, I did have to. Uh, the Uchi Katana has extremely low durability. So where is Miss Maiden? Oh, wait. I, I don't think I can level up until um, later, right? I don't think I can. Yeah. All right, though. I'm going to explain a few things, and then that'll probably do it for this episode. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter um, due to, one, we're not at a boss necessarily. But, uh, all right, time to explain some things. Okay, first off, the equipment system is kind of weird. So if you look on the right-hand side of my screen, you can see the 42% bar. That's in relation to uh, my equipment load. Certain stats, there's a specific stat tied to it, I believe. I know in Dark Souls 3, it's Vitality. Not Vi... It's not, yeah, it's like Vigor or something like that. I think it's Vitality, if I remember correctly. But, um... I forget what the exact stat is, but if y'all remember it, let me know in the comments below. It's been a hot second since I played Dark Souls 3, so just bear with me on that. Again, as y'all can see, levels and that sort of stuff. That stuff is self-explanatory. As far as resistances, most enemies, from my experience, don't deal bleed damage. Poison is poison and plague are the two that I worry about the most because more so for a value of defilement. When we get there, when we get there. Also, I will be telling you all my world-planned world progression here in a bit. Other than that, uh, we have world. Also, don't worry about miracle power or, like, ma magic faith. We won't be using that. But for world tendencies. So, also, I really, I really do, I, I think that it's been too long now, but I really wish there would have been a DLC for that broken area, because I don't know what that is. But as you can see, currently you see those Eyes of Sauron there. They turn dark the more times you die in soul form, so, which we are not in currently. You are automatically brought into soul form after you have been a boss. That's why usually you will see me run all the way up to the tower and kill myself. Because that doesn't affect any world tendencies. We want all of them to be all white. World tendencies. Because uh, they give us extra loot and stuff. Black tendencies are fine or whatever. But uh, those are for different things. Defeating a boss will put your white tendency up by three. 
You are able to die in soul fo in human form twice in Boletaria, once in the other areas, I believe. I think that only allows you one death in human form. If I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. We are going to not die at all during the course of all of them? No, I think it's... I think it's Boletaria allows you to die once in human form. The rest, you can't die at all in uh, human form. We're going to pretty much be perpetually stuck in soul form. Now my world progression. Boletaria is the only area that has four. We will be ending the game with Boletaria as we are starting the game with Boletaria. I start off with 1-1. One -one. So we basically... Demon Souls uses... At least I'll be using the whole Mario sort of thing. So Boletaria is World, world 1. Smithystone area is World 2. Then Latria is World 3. Then Storm area is World 4. And then Valley of Defilement is World 5. All of World Valley of Defilement will be done right after the other. And it will be very last. I am not doing that shit first. You will see when we get to it. But we're going to be doing 1-1. Now that y'all see where that at, that's at. But we will be doing... We'll be doing World Dash 1. Then... 2 Dash 1. Then 3 Dash 1. Then 4 Dash 1 last. However, we will actually be entering 4 Dash 1 after we have beaten 1 Dash 1. Reason being the Uchi Katana is in World 4, the Shrine of Storms. That is where the Uchi Katana is at. We're just going to try to run through and grab it. The skeletons are pretty difficult to deal with, but if we can just grab it and go, perfect. Then after that, we'll be doing world two. We'll be doing the two versions of each world. So Balataria, then Stonefang, then two dash for Latria, then two dash for Shrine of Storms. That's where things are going to get difficult. Then we'll be doing Stonefang Tunnel. We'll be finishing that after that. So we'll be doing uh, two dash three. Actually, no, 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 no. Yeah, each area only has. So yeah, we'll be doing one first, all ones first, in order from left to right, except for Valley of Defilement. Then we're going to be doing World 2-2. Then for Stonefang Tunnel, we will be we'll be completing that straight up, doing 2-3 and 2 well, 2-2 and 2-3. Then Tower 2-2, Shrine 2-2. Then finishing all threes with Boletaria, Latria, and Storms. Finishing all of that out. Then we'll be doing Valley of Defilement. Then Boletaria 1-4. I personally don't like how the worlds are structured, but that is how it is. Also, we can climb up and see, you know. What's hot? Because there are, there are some... There, there, there is some, some stuff up, you know. We, I'm pretty sure we don't unlock the leveling lady leveling lady until after we have completed Boletaria. It's the first iteration. This just wraps all the way around. There's nothing special as far as I know. That being said, when normally you'll I'll show you the drop off point where like we, we kill ourselves. Usually right here. We'll jump, we jump off to kill ourselves with. I believe there is an item on one of these pillars if you can get to it, but that's not something we will necessarily strive for. Uh, oh, it's locked for now. Okay. Normally you can go even higher up, but I guess it's locked for now, which is fine. Which we can just go back down. Naturally, we aren't gonna no. try to kill ourselves just yet. There isn't really anything worthy of note in either of these areas. I haven't seen a... So there's another YouTuber called Boundary Break. Who, like, does... He goes into, like, behind the scenes of what we can see in-game. I haven't seen the episode on Demon Souls yet. Um, I'm hoping that he has made one on Demon Souls, but I would like to see it. Uh, I definitely would recommend y'all checking out his Boundary Break stuff, because it is pretty... Pretty interesting, especially for Bloodborne and stuff. Speaking of which, 
Y'all need to remind me in the comments below, but there are two cut content chalice dungeons. There's two cut content chalice dungeons that I really should check out. Remind me in the comments below to check out those two chalice dungeons. One entails a cut boss that's now nowhere to be found else in the game. Uh, his effects are invisible, but he is there. And also there is a pre-alpha version of the... Um, pre-alpha version of the Moon Presence boss fight with other um, with other assets just kind of shown. Re please remind me to find those and check those out in the comments below. I really do want to do a one-off episode on that. Hopefully I can't remember, but this upcoming week is going to be a busy week. Also on the channel, something brand well, that might be happening. I'm not going to set it in stone yet, but y'all might see Black Santa returning. Um, in case I don't know, y'all definitely be getting my reactions and stuff to Black to an old old series series that I did with a friend of mine, and it was Black Santa versus White Santa. I was super unhinged at the time. Y'all are gonna have to forgive me, but yeah, maybe we'll bring bring it back for like a brand new episode. There, I have a lot of regrets with the series, but also it was pretty fun. So yeah, on that note. I will catch y'all on the flip side.